Welcome to this week's video. In this video, I detail how I built my steps, open steps up to my second story. Here I am building the landing at the top. So I had to, first of all, push these um, boards together, nail them together and get it figured out how to build a bit of a landing here. So there's gonna be a landing and then a step down into my bedroom, which is where I'm working from and a step up into the addition on the other side. I was able to reuse some wood from my old house, original house, when I did this, so that made me quite happy. It's kind of interesting getting this landing built, how to get it uh, properly supported so that it, it holds the weight of the top of the stairs and also anybody walking on the landing. Uh, so I built a bit of a notch out to get it and hit some nails in underneath to get it there because there's a uh, my hallways underneath and so I can't have anything um, obstructing that. So there's the um, end of the stairs where they're gonna land at the top. And then I got to work putting some boards across the top to build, finish out this landing. And here's a look at the old board and the stair stringer that I had originally cut. I cut them too deep because I was planning for a wider board. My boards are all varying widths, so I decided I needed to recut um, re my stringers. And so I did that. How I cut my stringers, just mark on a, a square and then just mark your angle and you've got it. So then I just moved it forward by five centimeters. It's fine if I have a slope on the front because I'm not going to be boxing them in. So I moved it forward by five centimeters, which gave me a little more meat on the stringer itself. So a little more strength. It ended up working quite nicely. I liked the look. After I marked out the stringers, I got to work it getting them cut. So I put them up, propped them up on a board, and got to work it cutting. Once I was done with this, it was time to test it out. So I brought it down to see if my angles were all correct and if it all matched up. And it looked good enough to me. So I put it there and then started well, first of all, took a look at the boards, put them in place, make sure that they um, fit properly this time, and then started cutting the, um, the leftover residue that was in the very corner of the stair. Cut that out so that there's no, yep, so that nothing's stuck there so that this tread can land fully. And this one I had not quite cut perfectly, so I made it, cut to work at getting it a little better.
And then I started working on my other stair stringer. So this one I wanted to double it up, use two, um, two stringers side by side so that I had a little more strength there. So first of all, I marked my first one out and cut that and then marked my second one out and cut that one and nailed them together. Then I got my little handheld sander and started trying to uh, sand it. It sanded a little bit, but it wasn't the best. I later got a belt sander and worked on them a little more to get them a little better. And then I screwed them in at the bottom and at the top to hold them in place, keep them so they don't move back and forth, slide, obviously, and got that done. And then I started working on my old boards. These boards I had torn out earlier in the previous video, you could have seen that between the um, top of the house, the joists, or yeah, I guess it'd be joist beams that were in the ceiling of the house. So here I am taking the nails out. These are little nails that it held the lath onto it. So I had to clean them up first, take the nails out, and then try to get them sanded down. Um, I used a air um, nozzle to try to get some of the dirt off of them, but they are still a little dirty, and the sand, my belt sander did not work for this. My, I ended up using the, my little sander for this, and it worked a lot better to get in the crevices. Just want to make sure they're smooth enough so that when I'm walking barefoot, it doesn't prick me in the toes.
I first of all had to get these cut after I pulled the nails out, then I cut it because some of them were like 120 or 110 and some were 90, so I made them all 90. Just to cut the end that's going to go up against my wall and then I'm going to drywall around that and so that there's no cut ends showing. After that was all done, it was time to get them and to put them in place, so I'll show you that. And then I got to work at nailing them down once they were sitting there and put two nails in each one. This wood's kind of hard so I'd actually bend some of my nails but it all worked out.
And here's what they look like. This is from my living room. Looking at them, and then this is going up the stairs there. So you get to see what they look like there. And then this is from the entrance to our house.